This is the room where I work on both music and church stuff. Over here you can see my vestments, but then of course right next to them is the requisite Fender Bandmaster. I can only imagine that they're the only rock band with a three-fifths majority in the priesthood. The fact that they're all three Orthodox priests. It's one of the strangest things that I can imagine. There's that trippy band doing trippy stuff again. I don't know what they're... <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked just how untamed and wild that band was. That's the best live show I've ever seen. It felt dangerous. It felt like something was going to happen. Like, like, don't sing. Don't sing to me. <laughs> Are you singing to me? We killed, because that's what we do. Look at these hands. Look at these. Why didn't luxury make it? One forty p.m. on July 2nd, 1995. We survived a major auto accident. I really thought the band would probably be done. I just feared that that music would stop. How flimsy we are. We don't stand a chance compared to the machinery we've made. From that point on, everything changed and yet they kept putting out records. Art should be disruptive, right? Did the Christians kill them? I mean, I would consider it a queer record, even though they're straight guys. There was this stigma for that band. I thought it was kind of crazy at the time. Luxury does what luxury wants. He got up there, he was just going for it. I wasn't embarrassed by it the at all. The band started tumbling down the highway. He said, no, not the median. Then a slot came open and we nabbed it. The train did, in fact, come off the rails. Just you expect a certain kind of person to be a priest, and maybe we're wrong about those kinds of people who are priests. I'm not trying to appeal to anybody. If we have rock and roll priests, dude. <laughs> or does the Catholic Church have that? They probably do somewhere, I don't know.